Hi everyone, you might have seen a previous video I did in my hints and tips section about how to animate a dynamic component and um, I just um, want to take that um, programming of dynamic components just a little bit further in this um, this little video here. So um, I'll just go through the basics again. So, um, um, so in terms of actually making things slide or, or uh, rotate like a door leaf. So this here is just an example of a door. So we've got um, our door leaf there and we've got our door frame which are both separate groups. We've just been grouped. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select them all and I'm going to create a component out of those called swing door. Okay, so now when we um, open up the dynamic components um, of the, of the uh, component um, object, so what we need to do is we need to just right click on it on the component, go down to dynamic components at the bottom and then go to component attributes. Now we can see here we've got our swing door, we've got and two groups. So the first thing to do is to actually um, identify which, which group is what. So this is the door frame and let's go out one and so this one here, double click on it, that's going to be the door leaf. Like so, okay. So, so what we'll, the first step here is what we need to do is we need to program that door leaf so that it um, um, opens up uh, by ninety degrees. So let's do that. So let's go plus, and we're going to go to on click, and we're going to type type in our um, type in our command animate, and then we're going to go uh, with a bracket there, and we're going to type in rot z so what it means is it's rotating about the z axis and so then we're going to type in 0 for the closed state and then 90 for the open state as in 90 degrees now um, now I did mention in that in that video that um, on the Mac version we have a little trouble with those uh, inverted commas so I can see them here and uh, actually what, what this is and let me just show you a little diagram here is is on the Mac version what the Mac operating system does is it converts um, standard um, parentheses, these little, just two little dots, um, little commas there, and inverts them like that. And so what happens is this is read differently in the command line to this, and it doesn't accept this. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get um, this in our, in our dialog box. So um, let's just, so let's just go back to here, and I can just see that there's a bit of an invert on this these commas here, and I think this one as well. So let me just, that's it, okay. So now when we go to our, um, let's just move this aside a bit. So now when we use our interact button, we can click on it and it'll open. Now it is important where this, um, where the group axis is. So if I double click on my leaf, and I'll just put the x-ray on, you can see that the group axis is over here on this on this point here. So if I were to move it, so if I right click on an axis line and go move and put it to say, uh, let's say we've got a pivoting door which is about there. So the pivot's there and it goes off there. So you can see now that I've got a little, I've got a, um, my axis has now been moved for that particular group and I'm just going to close it again. And I was expecting it to say that the axis has moved but it hasn't. But that's right. So now when I go to do that particular command, you'll see now that it pivots about that point which is a bit in from the um, from the hinge um, of the, the side of that frame so that's basically how you can create a pivot door as well as a standard swing door it's all, it all depends on where that axis is and one other thing too that um, you can see here that this is opening by 0 and 90 degrees I can also if I wanted to I can select it and I can change I can add an extra value in here so what this what these um, things are telling me is that it's going to the first state is going to be zero, the second state is going to be forty-five degrees, and the third state is going to be ninety. Now I think that's mucked up again, so let me just let me just do that again. Okay, now let's click on it. So the first one is forty-five degrees, and then the second one is ninety. You don't have to have this object selected, by the way. So just click that. Yep. Yeah, so forty-five, ninety. So you can program your door to be to open, you know, any angle you want. Like you can make it open to ninety and then one eighty. Um, 
you know, it's all just a matter of, of putting in the correct values into that, um, into this uh, box here under um, on click. Now, um, I might just do something a little quick on the fly here because I can see that it's, I'm just getting a little bit of trouble from my, um, uh, where is it? Oops, sorry. Customize my toolbar. I just, what I want to do is I just want to move this hand so it's a bit easy to get to. That's it. Okay, good. Now, um, so let's so let's go on to the next one here. So the next example here was a sliding door. So in this situation here, we've got our door leaf, like so, which is on the back of the frame, and we've got our, um, our door frame, which is a separate group. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to go Make Component, and we're going to call this uh, Sliding Door. So we've got our sliding door, which is the overall component, and then we've got two groups here. So let's see. So this object here is our uh, door leaf. And so the other one must be our door frame, like so. So now, so what we want to do in this one here is we want to actually tr move. So we want to move this leaf by along the x-axis here. So we want to actually make it move and then move back again. Now there's a bit of a trick to it when you're doing moving stuff and um, what we need to do is we need to actually add a little positional um, indicator in because um, that just tells us the starting position and then we can also use it to tell the end position. So, um, so let's put our command in. So let's put in our on click and let's call this animate and so what we're going to do is to control the um, the movement along the x axis what we're going to do is we're going to put in um, parentheses and then x and then close it again comma zero so you can see this value here is zero and i'm just going to put in a, a random number first off so 90 so we'll make that so that's 90 Mil, uh, 90 centimeters, so it's going to move 90 centimeters. Let's just change that to centimeters. But the, the best way to make sure we, we set this number correctly is to actually grab this um, thing and move it back to where we want it to be. So I'm just going to make it move to about there, for example. And um, so then what we can do is um, when we look now at our x value here, it says minus 76.5. So what I'm going to do instead here is I'm going to change this to minus 76.5. And I'm just going to check, I think that's right. No, those commas have, have reset themselves again. So let me just fix them up again. Okay, so now when we click on it, we can see that it does it to that measured 70, minus 76.5. So that's, that's how you can control that. Um, that distance. So yeah, so pretty funky, hey? All right. So the next bit. So the next bit I want to do is um, I'll just bring it, turn on this layer here because I've got a whole stack more. So we've got here um, um, a um, uh, double doors here. So we want one to swing out and one to and one to swing the other way as well. So let's just have a look at how we do that. So now they're all in groups. So I'm just going to now select the whole thing make that a component and so I'm going to make um, I'm going to call this um, double swing door like so and so now we look at our component component attributes here so we've got uh, let's see what which one the frame is so that one's the frame door frame and then this one is the left door leaf and this one is obviously going to be the right door leaf okay so once we've got all those identified that makes it a lot easier um, so what we can do here is we can um, let's let's um, let me see so instead of with the positional things what we're going to do is we're going to put the positional things um, under here, so we've got. Um, oh no, no, we don't need positional things because we're we're rotating, aren't we? That's right. Okay, good. So what we need to do in this one here is we just need to uh, 
expand those two and I'm going to add the attribute and we're going to add some um, on click we're going to animate and oops, animate we're going to put inverted commas rot Z and then we're going to do um, 0 comma 90 this is for the left one let me just go in and just fix these like so. Uh, so that's the right dual leaf and then I might as well grab that whole thing and just copy it and then go down here and go on click and go paste. Okay so let's see what we've got here. So I'll get my animate thing and uh, yep that one works nicely though it's not quite in the right position so let's just let's just close this again and so let's x-ray it and we're going to go place and we're going to rotate it about that corner there instead. Okay. So now when we click on it, that's better. So that's working properly. Now for this other leaf, this other leaf, oh, okay, so it's in the wrong position. So the first thing we need to do is we want to change where those axes are for that particular group. So we can see that currently it's pivoting around there. So let's just right click on one of the axes and place it. And we want to place it right there. Like this. Okay, so now when we do it, let's just get out of X-ray mode. Okay, so it's opening outwards rather than inwards. So that's pretty easy. What we need to do then is we need to go back to this one here and put a minus sign. Oh no, sorry. We need to go to our right one. Oops, 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 sorry. This one here, there we go, like so. So now, aha. Excellent, so that works just as I wanted. Now, um, so the question comes then, if you want to have them open both, like just say it's an automatic door in a uh, hospital wing or something like that, and a trolley's coming along and you want it to open both at the same time, well, you can do that as well. So let's have a look at this one here, which is uh, our next example. So uh, you know what? I'm just going to keep this one here. So I'm just going to move, make a copy of this one. So we don't need to muck around. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one unique. So, um, so it doesn't affect this one here. So now, so with this one here, what we need to do is, um, so we've got our our commands there and that's fine. What I'm going to do though is I'm just going to go into here and I'm going to click on these two here and I'm going to make an extra group group out of those. And I'm going to call that group double double doors. Okay. So now what that does is if we look under here we've got a new parent there and this parent has these commands under it so um, we don't need these commands anymore but we can leave them there if we want to that's fine um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another on click command and I'm going to grab this and I'm going to place that here but what I want to do is I want to actually make sure that um, this command applies to this door leaf and um, the command when I do the right one that we're going to that we can differentiate between the two. And so what we need to do here is we need to put the name of this group. So this is left door leaf, and need to put an exclamation mark after it. And this has all got to go in between your inverted, inverted commas here, your, your parentheses. So Let's just put that back again, like that. And so that's one command. And then the other command is, um, so let's put a col a semicolon in, and then let's just add the next one in. So it's minus, and what we need to do is we need to add right door leaf and an exclamation mark. So let's just make sure that we've done it right there. Now let's just change these in commas again just to make sure. Enter. 
Okay. So now, when we go out and click on it, oops, okay, so what it's saying is lift door leaf. Let's just have a look. See, this is what happens when you've got a little error in your code, and that's all right. Uh, lift door leaf. Yep. Exclamation mark. Yep, yep, yep. Looks right to me. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Comma, comma, comma. Hmm. Strange. So let's go into there and we'll go click. Invalid ent entity to animate. Left door leaf. Right there, yeah. That seems right to me. All right, let me just try something else. Let's just explode this. Okay, well, let's, let's just explode the whole thing. So, right, so we've got the door frame, we've got door leaf, door leaf, yep. So let's just um, make make component. Uh, okay, so we're going to double swing doors. Place that. So, so, right, so what I've done now is I've just changed a few things. I'm going to now. I'm going to minus that one, I'm going to also minus that one, and then I'm going to go back into here, one click, let's try that again, animate, um, so right, door, leaf, exclamation mark, rot, z, close, uh, zero, comma, minus 90, semicolon and animate left door leaf rot red close comma zero comma ninety now I guess you know these things they sort of when you do it on the fly like sort of like what I'm doing things do happen Expected things, but let's just see if this one works. Okay, so what it should be doing is it should be doing both of those. All right, enter. Now let's let's get our one click out and aha. Okay, oops. Now <laughs> I forgot to um, made a copy of that one, unfortunately, but that's right. So you can see here. Um, by by having a parent uh, component which has these two commands in it separated by a semicolon, what that does is that allows you to animate two things together at once. Um, so yeah, and um, look, there's, there's there's a couple of other like there are other commands too. So there's like uh, animate slow. So you can see that the the one on the right now is just going a little bit slower than the one on the left. So there's um, animate slow. You can also do animate um, custom. Uh, maybe maybe we'll, we'll save that one for a bit later on. So um, yeah. So that's that's basically how you um, how you combine the combine the animation of two objects together. So let's just have a look at this one here now. So this one is also how long are we going? Oh, we've already gone 19 minutes. Let's 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 turn this into an awning window. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to make a component. I'm going to call this an awning window. And so oh, so our frame's already got a name. So I'm guessing that this one here must be our awning leaf. And so this one, what I'm going to do with this one here is I'm going to make sure that the that this um, that the axis is up at the top corner here because this is where we're going to be pivoting around and we're going to be pivoting around the red axis. So it's going to be a um, on click animate 
and then we're going to be going to rot and x instead, comma zero comma forty five. So we're just going to make this awning window open by forty five degrees, and I think it might actually need to be minus forty five. Let me just see. I'm not quite sure if it's if it's not, I can go in and change it back to forty five, but I think that's correct. So now when I go to click on this one, so let me just close out of there. Aha, there we go. So that animates, opens by 45 degrees. Okay, let's do this next one here. So um, we've got a sliding window. That should be pretty easy. All right, so just right click on here, make component, um, sliding window. And so we've got that frame there. So this, so this one's going to be our make this our um, fixed fixed um, sash, and we'll make this one our moving sash. Okay. So now we'll just now what we need to do is we need to program our moving sash. So we'll go down to here. Uh, now let's just get the X positions again. So it's okay. So that's the starting point is 82.5. So let's put that in. So let's go on click. Let's go animate, and we're gonna we're gonna move it along the X axis, and we're going to go 82.5 as our first position. And let's just have a look at our second position. So when this thing is fully open it's going to be to there so when I look at that now it's going to be four centimeters okay so if I just click there and I add four centimeters in there so let me just check to make sure these are correct Oops. like so so now it should let's see yep close open good so it's just taking those two values that were under that X position readout there. That's that's how you get those um, those right. Oh, now I love this one. This is like a nice little sort of um, interesting kind of window here. So let me just let me do this one just for fun. Make components. Uh, so we're going to call this a what was it? Double hung window. And. What we'll do is we'll move this one down halfway and this one up halfway. So um, first we need to make sure we know which bits are which. So this bit is the top sash. And this one is the bottom sash. By the way, what I'll do is I'll make this model available at the end of the video so that you can download it and um, use it. Um, use the bits if you if you're unsure and just try it yourself. So this one's obviously going to be the window frame. Now, um, so what we want to do first off is we want to just have a look at the bits and pieces. So, so we want to move it in the Z value direction. So we're going to make this Z. Um, so. So this one here is the bottom sash. So it's the bottom sash starts at five. Okay. All right. So we're going to add our on click, and we're going to go animate, and we're going to go Z direction. So the bottom sash is going to start at a number of five. And we won't, we'll just close this off for now. And then, oh, now hang on, sorry. What we need to do is we need to say bottom sash exclamation mark so it knows which one to actually move. And then the last one here, animate, is going to be the top sash, oops, sash exclamation mark Z. So that one currently says 125, like so. Now, let's just move these pieces up halfway. Uh, I 
right, it's going to find that uh, here is midpoint here. Oh no, that's, that's at the midpoint, really. No, yeah, that's the midpoint. Let's just lock in the, this way. Ah, there we go. Right, so, so that's 110. So the second value that we're going to put in there for the bottom sash is 110. We just need to change this up here to centimeters. There is a bit of a bug here when we'll talk about that in a second. Um, sorry, 110. Um, if the bug presents itself. And so this one here, so this top one here, we want to move that down by, oops, by there. So that would now, so that one would be 110. Oh, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, now let me just go through and correct our little inverted comma issue. Okay, now this, this is the test. Oh! Now that's not quite what I wanted. I mean, it's sort of good. And I think this is where we've got our little problem, unfortunately. Yeah, I'd say it is. You see, what's happened is it's actually now reading our values as inches, which um, it's a, it does seem to be a little bug with this um, dynamic components thing. And uh, when you have when you have two or more type things, it, it can be an issue. So, well, that's fine. So even though it says centimeters here, it's actually it should be. Um, it should be, um, you have to put these in inches. So I'm just going to get my little inch converter out here. And um, so what we've got here, 5 and 110. One, one, oh. So let's put 5 in here. So we get and we'll put that the centimeters. So it's 12.7. OK. This is a bit of a pain, I have to admit. It's a pretty ordinary sort of a bug that, that should really be fixed. Uh, and then 110. Oh no, hang on, sorry. I should have put that as 5, and that would be, okay, 1.968. Okay, sorry. 0.968. And 110 needs to be 43.307. 43 43.307. Right, okay. Done. Now, so this one here is going to be the same. 43.307 and the 125 is going to be 49.212. 49.212. Okay. So I hope that's correct. I can see that there's a little bit of common thing issue there. Okay, all right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if it works now. Right, so that's in the closed position. Not quite. Not quite where I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's see. Let's just, let's just move this down a bit more. Maybe I put in the wrong value before. 110. Okay, so 110. 43.307. 43.307. Oh, seems right. I can tell that it isn't, though. 43.307, I mean, this should be less than that. Let's just say, let's just make this 33.307 uh, and 33. That'll look a little bit more convincing, I think. Ah, that's better. Yep. Okay, good. So that's that's that little um, inches centimeter issue that, that occurs when you, um, when you um, have two or more things moving together. So 
let's let's try this um, the sliding door now. We're only up to thirty minutes on this video. That's all right. Okay. Um, so, all right. Let's grab everything and go make components. Double. Oops. Double sliding door. Okay. And so. So this is the frame. This is the left leaf. Ah, left door leaf. And so this one's going to be the right door leaf. Okay. So let's now get our x values out. So let's go x. And for this one too, it's going to be the x value. Okay, so um, you know what I might do? What I might do is, uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. So um, I might just bring this one together. So I'm just going to place this so that it sits there instead. So, so now when we look at this, so they're both at 82. Okay, that's good. So 82, so let's put 82 centimeters in there. It's 32 point, okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do our on click and we're going to do um, animate and we're gonna do the X values and it's going to be that's the first value and now do this one as well so that's the first value now so when I click on these it shouldn't move whoops ah oh, great I just wiped that thing because I didn't press enter properly okay uh, now, sorry, I need to put in here left door leaf exclamation mark and this side has to be right door leaf exclamation mark and we just need to fix those up. Let's hope they fix this bug at some point soon. Okay. So now when we do this, it should not move. It doesn't, good, okay. So now with this one, let's move this one over to say, we'll move it to this point here, and this one to this point here. So now when we look at them, so the left door leaf then becomes four. Why don't I just change this to if I just change that to inches, then I can just read off those inches. Doesn't that make it easier? Yes, it does. Okay, so this one is the left door leaf needs to be uh, 1.575, and the right door leaf needs to be 62.992. Inverted commas? No, that one's wrong. That one looks right. Mm. Okay, all right. So now, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so there you go. There's your automatic double sliding door. So obviously you'd, you'd model the, the um, top a little bit better than that, but that's right. Now this last example, uh, which um, is is a, uh, a f arrangement of furniture, and this is just the versatility that you can um, integrate into your into your three D models using this dynamic um, component interacting um, functions. And um, so if we just, I'll just do a little click on this so you can see here that we've. That here, um, down here, we've got a combination of all the movements for um, 
rearranging the, the chairs and the tables into a different configuration. So what you could theoretically do is you could have a layout um, of a room um, in a certain way and say, well, there's another way you could lay the room out and then you just click on it with your interact tool and it reconfigures it for you. So you could, in that way, you could almost like when you're showing your model to your client, you could you could build in these um, these um, options options of you know how you could rearrange things to a to a different kind of format. So um, so that's just something. I mean, it took me a fair while to to work out exactly all these bits here. So you can see here the single chair here moves in the y direction. Um, and then, oh, well, that one that one only moves from side to side by looks of it. So if we click here, yeah, you see, so this chair here only moves from side to side, but obviously this one here moves in the in the x direction, in the y direction, and it also rotates 180 degrees. So you will see that in the command here for for chair two, it rotates by 180 degrees. It moves in the x direction, and then it also moves in the y direction. So yeah, you need to go and get all those position values there and the rotational value, um, and then add that into a single command, which which then the, the dynamic components can read. But um, yeah, look, it's um, it's kind of that's pretty funky. If you can do that in front of your client, um, yeah, though I'm sure they'll be moderately impressed by that. <laughs> anyway, so this is um, I'm putting this up on the um, intermediate courses as a bonus video. So um, um, if you if you're a little bit adventurous and want to give it a go, um, this is it's kind of fun getting these things to do all this sort of stuff. Okay, catch you later. Bye.